Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you the resin coasters using fabric. Hello, welcome back to my channel. S Murphy Art, love to create. So today we're going to be doing something different. Um, we are still doing the resin. Um, however, I've got... Um, like wooden coasters as such, a little bit bigger than a normal coaster. I'll show you the difference in the size. So this is normal standard size coaster that you've seen before. Um, that's what I made earlier. Um, and that is the complete difference. It says it's only a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to be making something that um, I can put my vases on with flowers. Um, but I don't want to lose any of the... So if I did a painting or something on these, I would lose... The view of it so what i thought i would do is way back i used to do loads of sewing um, and i found some fabric i know and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to attach this fabric to these coasters and instead of just sealing them with mod podge which i would normally do i'm actually going to put a small layer of resin on to protect the fabric and make it really really um what is the word i'm looking for help me help me help me um i was gonna say snazzy but that's like really old school <laughs> not snazzy um i don't know it will come to me but yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually cut this up to size and i'm going to attach it to here i will probably use the bit um, might need to iron it first. <laughs> I will iron it because I don't think it's going to fit. So I'll get it ironed um, and we will cut it to size and get it stuck on. So I have ironed the fabric. However, I had to recut another piece as my iron had a dirty mark on it. I don't actually use my iron for ironing my clothes. So yeah, <laughs> um, if anyone has any tips on how to clean an iron, um, that would be great. I don't know. So what we're doing is actually attaching these with Mod Podge, um, just a thin layer, just to make sure that the fabric is secure for when the resin goes on top. I just do that by using a small brush and I go and put a thin layer on. Um, Mod Podge does dry really, really quickly. So it is one of those ones where I do actually work fast with. And if you are cutting material, always use separate scissors to your paper scissors or anything like that because you don't want to blunt them by mixing material so those scissors are actually just my material scissors so yeah I'll just stick on this um, with the Mod Podge spreading that out there just to make sure that there's no creases um, and I'll get that all attached I know here it doesn't dry fully so I'll add a little bit more Mod Podge just to make sure that that's stuck down um, for when the resin goes on um, and I do that again for the other one just to make sure and I've only got two of these um, I just wanted to give them a good whirl it's the first time I've put resin on the fabric um, so I'm really really looking forward to seeing how these turn out um, I would normally go um, over the top with Mod Podge actually with fabric so I've never thought about putting resin over the top to seal it so definitely a first for me and yet super excited and cannot wait to see the outcome um although i know i am so over the moon as you can see from the thumbnail they do turn out really 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 smart they do dry really really quickly so they'll be ready for tape um as soon as it's dry just to show you exactly what i'm doing in regards to sealing everything so what i've done is i am i am using 3m scotch tape i just find that this tape for me is much better when it comes to pulling off resin um as the resin doesn't stick to it as much um so yeah what i've done is i've gone around the edges even tucked it under just to stop any seepage of any resin once it's on but what the hardest part of this was was to make sure that you've got the edging of the material going round um, I did trim quite a bit off just to make sure. So, for example, on this one, I've just done it so it's overlaying a little bit. I didn't want to go all the way around because I know resin will probably soak into the material and then move um, to the edges, which I don't want 
for it to go right under and lose it in the middle. I still want some kind of depth. Um, so yeah, this is the first for me, so we'll see. So let me just show you how I'm doing this. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting the actual tape, I'm lifting it to an edge, picking up the material and pushing it. So I'm pushing it down. So then that material is picked up in here and I know it's gone round and down the side there for it. Um, Cause again, I don't want creases in the edges once the resin has set. Okay. Um, and then one final bit near the end. So let me get that up. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then down. And then you can see then that is picked up into the corner there and it's gone round the edge. See here it has lifted and moved so the material's built up. So I'll just get my nail down there or if you haven't got nails, which I tend to normally not, I have to wear falsies. <laughs> <laughs> they just stick on. <laughs> not very good at growing nails, that's for sure. And to be fair, long nails are not 100% great when you're doing your crafty stuff. Again, just picking it up and making sure that that's stuck there. Okay, so... That is all sealed there. I do go around the edge just to make sure. I'm hoping, let me just move this just to make sure you, I am, got, I've got you on camera. I'm just making sure that that scotch tape is filled in any gaps as possible with the fabric. And there you go. Those are ready now for the resin to go on top. So I've got my resin ready. Again, my crafty craft resin um, that I always go to. I do pour out just enough for the two moulds here. Um, I know that with the smaller coasters that I used 80ml of the resin. So this one, I, I think I went for the same amount um, as I only wanted a thin layer of the resin. I didn't want a thick layer of it. Um, but I had to make enough... Um, just in case of any seepage around the edges. So again, using my silicone moulds are easier to clean and I'm giving it a good um, stir and I get my heat gun out to help um, disperse any air bubbles that have appeared. So I'll give that a good stir. And yeah, at the minute, this is something that's very new. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, just using the clear, just having it clear as well. So nothing fancy, just using complete clear resin to go on it. And I want to make sure I'm pouring, pouring an even amount. So I do start in the middle of them, um, and spin it round, work it round. And I use then the spatula, the stick, um, to be able to then push that resin to the edges. Now you can see that the material does darken because obviously, um, resin is a wet material um, and you know that it, it would actually make the sorry <laughs> resin is a, a wet solution and it would make the material wet <laughs> so you can see that there is a discoloration to the actual material there so I'm making sure it's around the edge um, and again resin is self leveling so it does actually um, make sure that it's getting around to the edges if you're on an even um, service anyway for you. Um, I do need a little bit more extra into this mould because um, it's it, trying to get it into the edge but I do add a little bit more in um, and I do use the heat gun um, to disperse any bubbles and then I leave it to cure for 24 hours although with me being busy the following morning it did go a little bit longer. So this is what I wake up to. Um, the resin is set and ready for me to remove the scotch tape from around the edge. Um, I did do this early and very quickly before a school run. So I'm literally just pulling off the edge. Um, I didn't have my craft knife available here. 
um, which I would have used to get under the edges and break the seal from the resin that had actually moved underneath the tape. You can see that there was some seepage from around the corner, um, but again, a good craft knife would be able to get that and get that removed um so yeah getting a good blade in there please be careful and move the blade away from you and i do need to trim the edges as well so i do get those trimmed but i can see that there is a bit of an air bubble and air pocket there in the corner but i do that with both coasters so i have gone around the edges with a craft knife i've taken off majority of the scotch tape also smoothed the edges so what I'll need to do now is go around with a white acrylic marker pen and go around the edges so I do go around the edge with the white acrylic marker pen make sure I'm getting to all the edges and around the bottom um, I do give it a good layer um, and I go over it again and I also make sure I get the edge of it as well where I've trimmed the edges of the resin. Um, and this is what the outcome was. So I did actually take it up over the edge. Um, and I was absolutely really, really pleased with these. I'm so happy on how it's turned out. And I did take it up around. So I do add these 3M dots to the bottom of the coasters. Just helps it give it that lift and that rub um, and just allows it to not move um when it's upon the shelf so I'll do that on both of them and this is the outcome i am so happy fabric really really worked with the resin it didn't move and that's it where i wanted it to be underneath my vase and thank you both for, for watching please like and subscribe to my channel for future ones and oh i'm so happy and absolutely love it thank you